What is going on guys and welcome back to our Chelsea career. So where things were going good with the Manchester United career, things are starting to get a bit tricky here. But we do come on the back of a 1-0 win against Newcastle, 2-0 win against Arsenal. And obviously in the, in the last game we drew against Bournemouth, it was quite a very boring game. But we are ready to start our Champions League campaign against Lyon, a very good team. And then not to mention we've got Tottenham, our North London rivals, in the next game. Uh, sorry, in the, in the game after the next one at home in the Premier League, and now we're going to be welcoming. Uh, we're going to be welcomed by Aston Villa in the Carabao Cup. So we'll try fit in at least four videos. Uh, to kind of sorry, four uh, four games in this video, to kind of compensate for that short video we had last time. I'm trying to fit in as many videos in my schedule right now. It's getting a bit tight. Got present presentations due in, coursework assignments, everything due in. Uh, for this final year of university and um yeah we're gonna be facing leon right now so in terms of the squads i think i'm pretty sure i want to keep it like hudson Doy is going to be coming on but i think i want to see pedro in there kovacic gonna be we're gonna put on kovacic on for mount mount who's not been playing too too badly his form says otherwise. He's been getting literally averaging 6.5. Tammy Abraham. Also not doing the best. But overall six, uh, three goals and one assist in six games in his first official Premier League campaign of Chelsea. is not too bad. Uh, someone suggested I should put Kante as, to, as a box-to-box -box midfielder. So we're going to be doing just that. And I think we are ready to go guys kickoff at the Olympique Lyonnais, Lyonnais, I'm not sure how you say it, stadium. we got Depay in, Traore, Dembele, good combinations in that uh, Lyon squad and they get the first half underway guys. Is that Spilicueta? Kante wins it nicely, Abraham looks to lose it for a second but we are still in possession. Here's Kante though, he's gonna he's not gonna make, be able to get this cross in unfortunately. And it does go out for our first cross, first corner of the game quite early on as well. Here's Willian. And it's another corner. Is this gonna find someone? It's a free kick. Abraham committed the foul. Here's Kante though. In his new role as a box to box, his Jorginho. Jorginho gets his second goal of the season, and um, what? In what a competition to get your goal in the Champions League, especially for him, who's arguably is not probably not the best shooter in the squad. He I mean he's a oh Leon. Oh, he'll be a goal. Actually, no, I thought he was offside. No, it wasn't. We we do get let off though. He did not get that on target. Is Abraham. I want to see some bright things from Abraham, the youngster. Is Willian, though. Willian has been doing a lot of things in this. Willian. Holy crap, Willian did, played so well. Here's Pedro, though. Not a very good pass from. Was that Jorginho? Here's Leon, though. Christensen. Uh, Christensen commits a foul. Referees going to VAR. Is it inside the box or is it outside? Okay, it's outside the box, guys. It will be a free kick. My heart just dropped for a second. I thought it would have been a penalty. And it is a yellow card, though. Rightly so. Here's Leon, though. Good from the wall. Here is Willian. As Pelicueta picks up the loose ball. And we managed to cope with that dangerous chance very well. Christensen needs to be careful, though. And Leon gets their goal. We are appealing for offside. The referee is consulting the VAR, though. So the player's cause has been heeded. And it is offside, guys. Leon get their goal disallowed. Very, very unfortunate for them. But that's the way it is. VAR coming in our favour. Here's N'Golo Kante. He's been summoned by the referee. He only gets a warning, so fair play. Mm. 
Let's see if we can find a second goal in this uh, somewhat entertaining uh, game, especially since it's our first Champions League. We're doing well so far to uh, aim for that. Aim for that first spot in the group stage. Pick up as many points as possible. Here is one of the Lyon players um, getting a yellow card from the referee. Here's Kante to Aspilicueta to Kante again. Kante, very good run from the box-to-box -box midfielder. And Abraham! Abraham hits the post and it bounces, luckily, back into the keeper of the Lyon. Uh, sorry, the Lyon goalkeeper. Abraham again just did everything right except for putting that ball inside of the net. Unfortunate for the youngster. And um, Lyon can take a deep breath. As they've been let off nicely by that chance. Looking good though for the second half. Kante is doing very well. He's literally playing more of a winger than Willian so far. Uh, no offence to Willian who's been having a good game. Here's Jorginho to Kante. 64 minutes gone guys. And what a chance for Willian. Is he going to take this one? I think he is. He is but he hits the wall. Here's Pedro. Abraham doesn't come to the feet of the striker. Or it does, but he loses out. Here's Leon, though. Good defending. Again, Abraham. He's not going to... Kante wins it, though. No, we lose it. Oh, my days. What is going on? And Aris Balaga comes in and saves us. A very end-to-end -end the second half. An entertaining game, I must admit. But very... Well, we're literally treading on very dangerous water. 70 minutes gone. And I think I want to bring in Hudson Odoi for Pedro, who's not been playing too well. If anything, we should be making a signing for um, another winger. But actually, I forgot we have Pulisic, which is he's injured, unfortunately. Let's bring on Mount for Kovacic. And let's bring on Hudson Odoi for uh, Pedro. Hopefully, we can liven up this game and uh, get this next goal, which will really settle our nerves for the remainder of these 14 minutes. Again, he's been some by the referee. He's given another warning. Or perhaps that would have been his second yellow card had it been another yellow. So he just gets a warning. The referee being a bit lenient here. Here's William to Pedro to Mount to Hudson Odoi. Hudson Odoi hits a free kick to Chelsea. Quite nicely in the box. Mount is going to step over it. Is he going to cross? Is he going to shoot? We'll find out in just a second. And what a save from the keeper. I think that was Christensen with, with a header. Is Aspilicueta though. Eighteen nine minutes gone guys. We are literally going to be touching extra time. Any minute now. And uh, what a win it would be to get in our first game in charge of this Champions League campaign. Three minutes at a time. Here's a throw-in for Leon. They're going to be pushing for that uh, draw uh, equaliser more than ever. <sighs> I just had to jinx it, didn't I? Rudiger will have to take the blame for that. Even the commentator admits so. As a blogger makes a good save. <laughs> we do concede literally in the last chance possible, unfortunately for us. But compared to how Lampard proceeded in his first game in the Champions League, we could say... It's a step up. Obviously, they lost against uh, was it Valencia one 0 in the first Champions League game. So in terms of emulating his uh, current um, reign at Chelsea, we do come out on top in this regard. It would have been nice though. We do get punished for not finding that uh, finishing product. Obviously, Abraham hits the post uh, in the second half, and now we've got a big game to play against. Um, Against Tottenham. Okay guys. I think we are going to be bringing in Mount back. And uh, we're going to be bringing in Hudson Odoi as well. Is Pulisic still injured? Yes he is. 
He's got one goal and one assist. He's going to be back in about 10 days. So we could potentially see him before the end of this episode. But anyway, guys, I think we are ready to go. I like what I'm seeing from Kante as well. He's been getting really involved since we uh, switched him to a box-to-box -box midfielder. But only time will tell if it is his suited role. Can't just judge after one game. A very offensive formation from Tottenham. But we managed to beat our big rivals Arsenal uh, earlier in the last episode. So why not come to uh, Tottenham and beat them? Here's Kante though. Is he going to find a cross? No, he doesn't. It's off throwing. Nine minutes in. Here's Mount. Jorginho. Christensen. Kante. The game's opening up. William. Tammy Abraham. Fourth goal of the season. The youngster has been rewarded for his fine work and his patient patience in these last couple of games. He's been a bit of a goal drought. His Hudson Adoy though. Hudson Adoy does not get part. Yeah, he does. Willian. That's where Okata picks it up. Christensen to Kante again. Kante doing very well. Finds Willian. Finds Abraham. No, he doesn't. And we're playing really well. And once again, we are out on top against the big rival. And quite early on in this first half, not to mention Abraham. So pleased for him. Just got to have patience, especially in this number nine role. You could go on long droughts. And it's uh, really important you don't lose your confidence. Here's William, though. Kante is ready to support him. And he does. Abraham, 2-0. What is going on? It's not offside, is it? Let's keep our... Celebrations just for a few seconds and no word from VAR, which means they have checked it and there is no potential offside or not even potential, but there's no offside um, in the action. Tammy Abraham, though, after a quiet game against Leon, I mean, he did hit the post. He's now, he's not, he's now brought us 2 0 up. What a game and what a team to be uh, at the scoreline for half time. And I'm surely are gonna want some revenge here. He's as uh, a Balaga to uh, Abraham. Here's a throw in in our own half to Willian. We need to be careful here. Another foul. And VAR is coming into play. Was the foul in the box? It happened outside of the box, guys. A lot of these situations I'm seeing. A good defending. Kante gets the ball. Abraham, what can he do? Gives it to Kante. Abraham, Willian. Good combination, and we do draw out a free kick. As I was saying, a lot of VAR moments. Here's uh, Ericsson, though. He gets a goal back for um, Spurs. We need to watch out here because this is still early in the second half. We don't want to end up like last game where we concede in the last final moment. Emerson gets a yellow card. We need to be careful here. See this game out appropriately. We don't want to be too confident. And we don't want to panic too much. Which would invite too much pressure. It's the last thing we need. Um, here's Mount for Abraham to Willian. We need to put this game to rest. Here's hudson Adoy. Good from the youngster. Mount. Not a good shot. But a good combination between the youngsters. Uh, nevertheless. Probably... Hudson Odoi's brightest uh, action of the whole game. Here's Kante to Willian. To Abraham. Abraham. Yet again, Abraham's hat trick. Surely that's got to be the finishing touch to this game. The icing on the cake. And what a match it is for Tammy Abraham. Let's make some changes. Here's Willian with a corner. We're not finished yet, though. Here's Hudson Odoi. And uh, nothing else happens. Ready to make some changes. A good, good result. Tammy Abraham's having his best game of the season. Uh, with no doubt. Let's bring on Kovacic for Jorginho. And I want to see Loftus-Cheek on for Mount as well. And let's bring on Tomori for Christensen as well. We have a Carabao Cup com uh, game coming up. So I'm definitely going to be putting my uh, faith in these youngsters. Even though I'm already using Abraham and Mount. Uh, a lot it's just Tomori he's the only player left to kind of integrate into the squad Christensen's doing well so far and not to mention we've got Kurt Zuma another experienced defender uh, on hand to use 
What a what a pass to Abraham. And it was an offside though. A good idea from Arza Blaga, but Abraham was offside. Final time guys. What a win we have here on our hands. Another big win against a top six opponent, and not to mention our North London rivals. Let's see where that puts us in the league. We do... I forgot where we, where we were. But we are on level points with leaders Man City. But not, let's just um, not forget that they do have a game in hand. Both of them. So that will most likely put them on top uh, afterwards. we got Aston Villa right now. And then let's see this game out. This game is taking up quite a bit though. So I think what we'll do is I'll probably make the next game the last one. Okay, guys, we're ready to proceed to the game. As I was saying, I want to make some changes. I want to bring in Zuma and I want to bring in Tomori. And I'm going to bring in Caballero. I want to see. I'm going to keep Mount on. I want to see Loftus Cheek in that deep line playmaker role. Bachwai also on for Tammy Abraham. Hudson Odoi will stay in that position. Let's bring on James. Let's bring on Alonso. Give him some game time. Gilmore, he's going to be on the bench. As for everyone else, there's limited spaces. And this is as f as much as I can, um, I can do. All right, guys. Final game of this episode. Let's make it a good one. And let's proceed further into this uh, Carabao Cup tournament. Here we go. We get the first half underway. Got to mention, shout out to the player who recommended Kante as a box-to-box -box midfielder. It's been working wonders so far. He's lost his cheek. Good communication between him and Willian. He's lost his cheek. And uh, nothing happens. Mount, good link up. Uh, Hudson Odoi, good with Batshuayi. And it's a good clearance for Aston Villa. They're just about holding on. Oof, another corner kick. Not too bad from uh, William. He's in charge of these corners. William and Batshuayi. First goal of the season. Good assist for William as well. And that puts us 1-0 up. Yet again, very early on in this um, in this first half. Is Loftus cheek though. Uh, William does not get the ball. Aston Villa. Zuma does well. Finds Batshuayi, but Batshuayi could not control it. Aston Villa on the attack. Good from Caballero. Safe hands. And uh, we are slowly marching to this uh, half-time whistle with a lead. An important lead. A yellow card. I'm not sure for who that was. 46 minutes in, guys. Plus added time. Oh, sorry. I mean, as part of added time. Half time, guys. 1-0. Good game so far. I want to see more like it. Okay, guys. Here's Aston Villa with the second half. A good ball in, actually, it would have gone off. Here is a corner again from Willian. Here's Zuma. Oof, another corner. Zuma tried his chance, deflected off the defender, and it's yet another cross in from Willian. Willian gets it again. What's he going to do? Doesn't go to anyone. 64 minutes in. Aston Villa are trying to pick up the tempo. Uh, Kante looked like he would have stolen the ball for a second. And Caballero makes a very important save, but it doesn't matter. Grealish was offside. And uh, that just calms the nerves around uh, the stadium from our fans. 74 minutes in. And I think as we get closer, we will introduce Billy Gilmore, that's for sure. And um, let's introduce him right now, actually. Let's bring in Billy Gilmore. And um, who else can we bring in? Let's bring in Pedro for William. Give him some game time as well. Although perhaps recently he's been playing quite a bit. Especially with the absence of Pulisic and with Hudson-Odoi. 
not doing too many bright things, but he's still very, very young. It's very easy to forget because he's been, uh, perhaps he's been a bit overhyped for his age. I mean, he's been putting in some good performances, no doubt. 81 minutes in, 85th minute right now. Aston Villa get a very important free kick here. They're going to be knocking on the door for this equaliser. Good goalkeeping from Caballero. The veteran keeper who's still going strong at his old age. I mean, I say old, but for football terms, uh, 30, I think it's 37 or 38. It's quite a bit for a footballer. Um, but he's showing his experience here. Coming in for Ariza Balaga. He's been a very good keeper so far this season. He's uh, perhaps not a, not the best of kickoffs from um Tamori commits a foul in a very dangerous position. It's pr probably going to be the last chance of the game. And we don't concede. Whew. We're making a habit of conceding late on sometimes. And I was just a bit worried there. His Gilmore though. Loses the ball in a very dangerous position. We can't be having that. And we don't oh, we get let off again. No, no good from Billy Gilmore. Perhaps that justifies why he hasn't started from the start. His uh, loftus cheek, Tomori Kante, Pedro Batshuayi was looming. Good from James. Good from James. Good from Tomori as well. Loftus cheek, Kante, Batshuayi, Batshuayi again. No, oh, so end to end right now. It's Tomori deals with it well. 1 0, guys. And that is yet another victory in this episode. What an episode we have. And uh, we're making some big moves, big moves in the Europa League. And certainly, we're now a step further towards that Carabao Cup final. And also, we do pick up a point on the champ in the Champions League uh, journey as well. So, I hope you guys enjoy this one, guys. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace.